I mean, I'm here partially because I haven't really gone to the... Uh, just be aware you're on camera. Yeah. So, don't divulge any state secrets about all those bombs you got hidden behind the police station or anything right. like that. Dude, right. <laughs> I was at the jail. Uh, or, or what was it? There was a Molotov cocktail they discovered in Durham, North Carolina. It was an ex incendiary device, okay? And that's the way they wrote it up in the news media. So as far as all these MSM fuckers over here, <laughs> right? And I will call them MSM fuckers, fuckers. right? Because they're just going to put their narrative onto it. It doesn't matter what you say, uh, you, you, you right? You like uh, Channel 5's thing uh, last night that said that it was organized by Occupy. Yeah! Right. <laughs> like, what? Right. Oh, really? Gee, I missed the call out. Uh, yeah. <laughs> like three years ago, thanks. Well, thank God we got live stream journalists, uh, myself and people around the country that document things without filter, and you can draw your own conclusions. Of course, we're going to say what we're going to say, but, uh, yeah. you know, we're not editing anything or anything like that, and it's live in the moment. Dude, so. when I was at the jail after me and Jake left you Friday, uh -huh. we walked over to the jail, right? We walked up, up the street. Yeah saw the helicopter on the other side of the jail, so we walked over to the jail, and people had put shot paintballs. There was red fucking paintball shit all over the jail. <laughs> nice. And they're out there detecting with their little forensic coats on and their spotlights, and they're like doing their writing things down. It's like, yeah, you're going to tell who did that, eh? Are you detecting? And then they would look across the street and go, and I'd be like... And at one point I went, oh, fuck you, I was so high at that point, I spoke like all those plants. Yes. Like walking around, right? I go, I didn't do it! <laughs> and they're like, Jake's just going, because they know. know who we are. It's like, you know, they all know who we are. What? Well, you and Jake, oh, fuck, they know us. I got followed by a fucking helicopter all the way from Pleasant Valley <laughs> down 40th, <laughs> down uh, Broadway to get back to 40th to go home. And what I don't understand like is... This, going, are you sure it's a helicopter and then they just make it worse you know we just like and then Matt comes in at like 130 for like a pit stop right because he didn't even want to take a piss on the street <laughs> and he fucking got followed from telegraph 26 to the house just uh, about by a fucking helicopter I'm like Oh, damn. And then he went back out, and that's when him and Dante, you know, when Dante got popped. Oh, okay, poor guy. Dante got, when he got arrested. Yeah, I read something about his case this morning. Come home. I can barely keep up with it all. I'm telling you. Well, I do know for a fact that there's demonstrations planned today for New York, Chicago, Philadelphia, Miami, Durham, North Carolina, Duluth, Minnesota, Minneapolis, St. Paul, uh, Los Angeles, right? So, uh, there's protests going on every day. Every As day, every day. Every day. Shutting it down, which is what my thing is. At this point, you can shut it all shut down, it down as much as you can. Nothing else you can do. You can go out, we can go out and get our heads beat and get tear gas. I'm like not into that shit, you know? I'm too into that shit. But I'll shut it down. I'll fucking shut the bar down anytime. I will shut whatever you want shut down. I will go out and be a part of that. No problem. As long as I got my bike, yeah. I can get the fuck away. <laughs> I always yeah, well, you're lucky I can't. You're lucky I can't run, so. Yeah, I can't. I can't either, so you know. like, I have to be on that. But I'm not going to run anyway, so, yeah, you know, that's what the camera's for. And that's why we're out here. we got some, got a crowd of about 25 people out here at the uh, 14th Street here in Oakland. Out here we're uh, in the remembrance, uh, remembering uh, O'Shane Evans, who was murdered by... San Francisco Police Department on October 6th uh, in his car by a police officer who was dressed not appropriately dressed and walked up to the car and, and uh, who knows what happened we're only going to take what we know from the police account because O'Shane is not able to give his side of the story and uh, there were really no other witnesses so uh, yet another uh, young black man is murdered by the police and uh, what are we going to do about it folks you're just going to sit home and just let it happen, right? And, uh, you know, it's brought an incredible amount of uh, racist people out to the forefront. And, you know, it's like you get on Facebook 
or any of the other social networks, people that you thought were your friends oh, or whatever, yes. right? They're coming out with all this racist crap online, you know. And you know, if you're racist, just keep it the fuck to yourself. I don't want to hear about it. I don't want to hear about how it was O'Shane Evans' fault don't that he was hear shot. About the thugs, you know, those right. people. Thugs or bangers or. Thugs are the ones ooh. in blue with the guns. Right. Okay. So. The thugs are the ones yeah. that are rioting. Yeah. Speaking of which, let's walk over yeah. here. Yeah, we'll take a little picture of our friends. There is a police presence that's here today. So we'll just let you know. So far, I'm counting four cops. So we'll just give you a little window on that. Uh, this is a vigil, supposedly a nonviolent protest. But like most protests that start out nonviolent, you always got to keep your eyes and ears open. Anyway, tonight I'm going to be talking at uh, Occupy Toronto. And we're going to be talking about live streamer security and live streamer safety on D. Shanger's program, and that'll start at, uh, I believe, 7, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So uh, do check the listings. That's Occupy Toronto on live stream. So we'll be uh, talking with D. Shanger tonight uh, via Skype about uh, all the rash of live streamers that have been arrested <coughs> around the country, and most notably here in the Bay Area, one of our our brother's uh, Code Frame SF was arrested uh, at the Black Friday protests in San Francisco. Uh, he's being charged with felony battery on a police officer, and he will be, uh, uh, he is going to have a, uh, a soup, was it, a supervised pre-trial release tomorrow. So, uh, that's happening. So thanks for everybody for watching. Hey, thank you, uh, Mr. Orbit. Hey, Prusa girl, how you doing? Al Parsons, what happened at the post office? Okay, um, the cops basically came and left the post office. Uh, they were asking people for IDs, but uh, there were no IDs produced, and basically it was like a nonviolent resistance without uh, a non-cooperation. So, uh, and that's not the regular Oakland police that come out there to the post office. That's the postal police, postal inspectors. So our crowd's starting to firm up here. Uh, we've got about 30 people, it's growing by the second. Thanks a lot. If you want to follow me on Twitter, that's at Freeman Sullivan. And a uh, uh, reminder again, uh, tonight I'll be at the Occupy Toronto uh, live stream channel. Uh, we're going to be talking about live streamer safety and legal issues associated with being a live streamer and how to protect yourself. Uh, so uh, that'll be at 7 tonight. So we do have a mainstream media that's here today. And this is one of a series of non-stop protests. Uh, tomorrow morning I am going to be at uh, James Tennyson uh, Code Frame SF's hearing tomorrow, so I will be uh, having a live stream up as soon as we get out to court, out of court, and we know more about what's going on with this case. Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll see if I can't, uh, um, I can restream it on my channel tonight, or I can provide links uh, later on. When If you follow me on Twitter, I'll definitely be providing links as to the channel. How you doing? So we're uh, waiting here for a demonstration to get started. Uh, this is not a march, this is a stationary protest. So it's unlikely that there's going to be arrests. So if you're into the riot porn, you know, I try to stay away from from live streaming too much riot porn.
You know it isn't a protest unless Frank Chu shows up. <laughs> He's here and everything. Hey, thank you, Eric Carey. It's good to see you, Susie. How you doing? Yeah, we're out here at the uh, Oakland 12th Street Bart Station here. You know, it's 12th Street Bart Station, but we're here at 14th Broadway, uh, down by Oakland City Hall. So if you're in the area, do drop by. Uh, we'll be here till approximately 3 p.m. A lot of stuff going on here in the Bay Area last night. There was a, a huge riot over at the, uh, on University Avenue in Berkeley. Uh, police were using tear gas and less than lethal projectiles on demonstrators. Uh, also yesterday in San Francisco, there was a march of about 200. Uh, marched down Market Street and blocked Powell and Market, and there was 22 arrests there. So we're hopping mad, and we're not going to let the police beat the shit out of us and kill us. Right? This is bullshit. Right? Every time a cop walks, it's bullshit. Right? And how do you expect a fucking legal system that's set up, you know, to protect the police, basically, and believe everything that they have to say, how do you expect any justice from that kind of legal system? So... So we're getting a pretty good crowd here for a Sunday. And I'd like to remind you that there's a lot of football idiots today watching football. Uh, Oakland and San Francisco are playing. So um, I even thought about not coming, to be honest. But uh, my activism always takes precedence over stupid sports. So we're out here for O'Shea Evans. Um, he was murdered by... San Francisco Police Department on October the 6th um, in questionable circumstances uh, he was approached by undercover cop or uh, plainclothes detective David Goff and uh, evidently there was a gun or something uh, but from the accounts that I've read it was unloaded so and it's doubtful that Goff is ever going to see charges So I'd like to thank everybody for watching. We're here in Oakland, California. And this is your live streamer at Freeman Sullivan. Thanks for joining us. And we should have some speakers here in just a few minutes. Notice that uh, Chase has their windows boarded up across the street. I just noticed that. It'd be the first place to get in. Chase Bank, I was at a protest there last year, about a year, maybe a year and a half ago, uh, with Reverend Billy Talon. And we were there uh, talking about how uh, Chase Investments had uh, made this species of frog, tree frog, in uh, Costa Rica, or no, not Costa Rica, Guatemala extinct through investment policies that were by Chase Bank, and we know they're not a good corporate citizen. And i got to remind you, through all of this, through all the hundreds and hundreds of people that have been arrested since that time, not one banker has gone to jail yet. So that shows you the priorities of our criminal justice system, that they would rather put poor people of color in prison than actually go after the real criminals that are looting, really looting our country. You know, people get upset when a store window gets broken, but how about the hundreds of billions of dollars that Wall Street has looted the Americans, American public of? So there's no, you know, you know the, the media, you know, they're always so quick to focus on looters, and they don't want to talk about the real looting of this country, which is done by the people in Wall Street.
check out the chat here. Yeah, I know, Bella. I haven't seen her uh, in Oakland. I know she did a live stream uh, the night of the first, when the night when the freeway was blocked, but she wasn't able to make it to the protest. And so her live stream was of her driving around Oakland and trying to get trying to get on the freeway. But she's back here in the Bay Area, I do believe. How you doing? Second one, huh? Oh, yeah. yeah. All right, yeah, we got some more information. Uh, here's a flyer that's being handed out. It says, uh, I was wrong on the date. It's October 7th. 26-year-old O'Shane Evans was shot multiple times and killed by SFPD officer David Goff. O'Shane was living in Montego Bay, Jamaica, and was living, or was born in Montego Bay, and was living in Oakland with his mother, where he was training to be a boxer. O'Shane wasn't a threat to anyone, and was described as a humble soul and a quiet mama's boy by his family and friends. O'Shane's family and supporters demand the release of the police report, autopsy, and surveillance video and audio, and video and audio of the San Francisco Police Department town hall meeting. And they want to explain why the, the SFPD held a town hall meeting without inviting the family or district supervisor Jane Kim. Uh, they want to convene an independent investigation of his death, including events leading up to the shooting, and not allowing his mother to ID her son's body, and to end racist murder from San Francisco to Ferguson. And that's going to take, I believe, more than what we're doing now, a lot more. But uh, there you have it. There's some information about O'Shane's killing. And uh, hold on a second here. And uh, there's a picture hold on a picture of O'Shane so Lake's killing me today folks So our crowd's growing here slowly but surely. Got about 30 people here, maybe 35. Gotta get off my foot here. So we'll be starting here in just a couple of minutes, folks. Maybe we'll get on the chat here. Check out what's going on on chat. Yeah, by the way, if you're uh, you're watching this, I know I'm probably going to get shit from uh, Ustream, but if you're watching via browser, uh, you can avoid commercials by installing AdBlock Plus. Yeah, I'm not really showing a lot of love for Ustream, but they have entirely too many damn commercials, in my opinion. And trying to focus a business model on selling commercials on video is questionable at best. You know, because everybody's got ad blockers nowadays. So you got to find another way to make money at this. Uh, myself, I'm not interested. I don't do this for cash. Um, I don't accept donations currently. Uh, I do this out of my own pocket because I love out of love. You know, I, my love for, uh, for people first and for foremost and also my love of technology. And I always like to be, I'm one of those early adapters when it comes to technology. So, now Bella hasn't moved to Vegas. She's still living here in Oakland. Now we got kind of a, speaking of weather, we got kind of a cloudy day today. It's about 60 degrees. Uh, there's a good chance of rain, which we still need in bunches here in the Bay Area. 
Uh, another reminder for people maybe just checking in is that I'll be on D. Shanger's uh, program tonight at Occupy Toronto uh, on live stream. So you can follow that. Uh, his hashtag, by the way, is D D E E S H A N G E R. And he's out of Toronto. And I, had a, I spent some time with D earlier this year, and uh, he's a great guy. And I'm sure that we'll have plenty to talk about tonight. And that starts at 7 p.m. Um, I'm not going to go to the uh, Berkeley protest, unfortunately, uh, because uh, of prior commitment. And although I'd like to be there, um, if you're at, uh, if you're watching this, maybe you could get your smartphone and get the hell out there and do it too. You know, I'm not the. You know, I'd like to not think that I'm the only live streamer that comes out for events. We're getting ready to get started. Uh, for those of you just joining us, uh, we're here in Oakland at the uh, 14th of Broadway near the 12th Street Oakland BART station. So if you're in the area, come and join us. And I'm just having a seat until uh, we get some speakers going. And uh, you can hear other, more than just my blabby mouth. I see that we have Channel 4, and then I saw a KTVU uh, news team that was out here. So this will get covered on mainstream media for about a minute. And you know, it's important that we come out through this and every other protest for these uh, people that are murdered. Uh, it's really important. I can't stress it enough. You know, you don't always have to get arrested uh, when you come out. Definitely, I wouldn't advise that you loot or break the law, but uh, unless you're uh, doing uh, more traditional forms of civil disobedience. But, uh, you know, it's important that people come out and make a stand and show your support. Uh, because too often these cases gets, you know, they're, they're covered up, there's a lot of lies, and we definitely know we can't believe police accounts. Uh, there's no doubt about that, in my mind at least. Uh, usually when the police say something, I kind of believe something else. Um, they've shown to be unreliable, and they've shown to, uh, uh, you know, when they're killing people, you know, they're, they're definitely going to be covering it up. And you can't expect justice from a legal system that is set up to protect them. So, sad to say. Let's go back on chat here. Oh, they were bad last night? Okay, I got you. Good, good. I'm glad to see that, Al. You know, keep, uh... Oh. Well, let's not jump on... Let's not jump on Bella too, uh... Too hard. What do you do? I don't know. I, uh, show up for protest. Uh, I go to trial support, court support. Uh, I try to do as much as I can. I wish I could trail some of these marches a little bit closer, you know, I'm disabled, so it's hard for me to walk, you know, and it's lucky that I'm not in a wheelchair nowadays, but, uh, wondering if there's going to be some speakers here. And uh, for those of you just joining us, uh, we're live streaming from downtown Oakland here at 14th of Broadway. So uh, if you're in the area, do drop by. It's accessible from the 12th Street Oakland Bar. And we welcome you. This is a non-violent demonstration, a vigil. So we don't expect any arrests, if that's what you're looking for. 
But I mean, I guess I'm living in a world of my own, you know, when I go to these demonstrations because I, I never expect to be arrested, to be honest. But, you know, I'm living in a lily white world. You know, and I always try to think the best of people, and uh, unfortunately, that's not always the case. Well, let's go take a walk around the other side here. I see the mothers of quite a few uh, young people, mothers of quite a few young people who were murdered by the police. And over here we have Idris Telly's mom. And over there, uh, Lamisha. Uh, this protest is scheduled to go on until 3 p.m. And other than the uh, four police I saw on the other side of this demonstration, I haven't seen any more police officers other than the occasional cop driving by. Oh yeah, sure. A <laughs> Lucy. You see that? That's a lot now. When you sell a single cigarette and a police caught you, that's illegal. You didn't pay that. I didn't say that. I didn't pay that. No, it is. That's why they can't land a kill. Justice for all saints heaven! Justice for all saints heaven! Yeah, we're gonna get this thing started so right up here. I, I paid tax. <laughs> That's what they didn't bring up. He did pay tax on the cigarette. Because you are now as a seller. Oh, okay, so the law changes. Sorry. You should pay tax, but you didn't. Now that's why they can kill you. Yeah, they kill you for selling cigarettes. Out here today on a cold Sunday. It's really important, it's very, very important that we come together, that we recognize each other, we find each other, recognize each other as community. In these cold times, as, uh, as Gil Scott Heron would say, it's winter in America, folks. And we need each other, we need each other's strength, we need each other's warmth. There have been a lot of people out in the streets over the last few weeks because a lot of us have been tired, been tired, sick and tired of our family members, our loved ones, our community members being assaulted, being assassinated by law enforcement. 
by these paramilitary forces that are put in place, allegedly, for our protection. But are they protecting us, folks? Hell no! And today we come together with the family of O'Shane Evans, who was assassinated by the San Francisco police on October 7th of this year. We come together to show the family and the world that we do stand united as a community, that we are not having this, and that we are going to get together and keep getting more and more organized, and we are going to change this shit so that we don't have to have no more of these memorials. So we don't have to have no more of these funerals. Yeah! And so we can start to see justice. And so thank you everyone for coming out uh, right off the bat here. Well, you know, I want to, uh, before I bring up the family here, some people might ask, some people might say, hey, well, well hold on, the, uh, the San Francisco police uh, 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 killed O'Shea. Why isn't this in San Francisco? Why are we in Oakland? Well, first off, we were in San Francisco. We've been in San Francisco. Yesterday we were up in San Francisco. Second off. This is one Bay Area. I don't know how many people are aware, but there are officers that transfer back and forth between these departments that work off-duty security shifts in one city or the other. Beyond that, the Bay Area historically has always been a bit of a commuter community. We move back and forth as a people. And we are all united in San Francisco, Oakland, Richmond, all the way out to places like Vallejo. We are all united in the same struggle. And police terror that happens in one place affects all of us. And we're out here. This is Oscar Grant Plaza. This has been ground zero for a lot of community action. And we're out here in solidarity with all the community, with all the families, and with all the fallen soldiers, all the victims of this police ter terror state. So thank you all for coming here today. And we get this started, I'd like to bring up the family of O'Shane Evans to say a few words. Oh, yeah. No more stolen life! 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 This is a painful day for me and my family. I, this is not how I plan on spending the rest of my life. You know, but it is what it is. It's such as life. But today makes too much since my brother's been gone. Since he was taken away from us assassinated by David Goss, San Francisco police officer. And I want to thank everyone for coming out and showing their support. But this is not just only about my brother, it's for all the stolen lives. We stand up for all the stolen lives. We fight for all stolen lives. And we want no more stolen lives. No, we want justice. And if they don't give us justice, we're going to get our justice. I'm tired of talking. I'm not tired of talking about this too. You know, enough is enough. Enough is enough. But like I say, thank everyone for coming out. You know, I, I can't say too, because it's really, right now I'm in pain. You know, part of me is gone. We came from the same woman. And my mother, I, every day I'm seeing her crying, saying her baby is not coming home. You know, where's her baby? Yesterday she was going to church and she was putting on her slip. And she could already get it up. And if Shane was there, he would have helped her to put on her slip. You know, stuff like that hurts me to see that he's not here, he's gone, he's gone. And then after you kill my brother, you lie, you keep lying and you lie, you lie to the media, you put it up, oh, he did this and he did that. You know, it's time for it to stop. This must stop. And we have to keep on fighting, people. We have to keep on fighting. Don't give up the fight. You gotta stand up for what you believe in and don't give up the fight. We can't just fight one day and sit down. We gotta get out there every day. Every day and fight and let, let them know that we mean business and we're not taking this no more yeah. and we're taking over our streets. Yeah. You know, they call us violent, but they're the violent ones. Yeah. They're the ones come out in arms. They're the ones come out with pepper spray and tear gas, handcuffs. We're just peacefully marching. They're the ones agitating us. So that's when, if we get violence, we have a right to fight back. Because that's all we do. Is fight back. Fight back. Fight back. And forget hands up. I'm tired of saying hands up. Mario Romero has to prove that he had his hands up and he was still killed. Okay? 
hand, did you want to say a few words? No? Okay, so we're, uh, we're going to open this up in a minute uh, to, to hear some uh, 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 words from the community about what's been going on. But I want to, I want to take a, uh, a moment, and if I uh, miss one or two, please forgive me, no disrespect intended. I want to acknowledge for a minute that there is a, uh, a whole variety of different groups of people that are organizing around this police terror thing, and a whole, a whole variety of groups that are, that are out here today. So uh, uh, I want to acknowledge the uh, Alan Bluford Center for Justice is out here today. Yeah. I want to acknowledge that the Answer Coalition is out here today. Yeah. I want to acknowledge the Idris Stelly Foundation out here today. Yeah. I, want to, I want to acknowledge Poor Magazine and the Hopeless family out here in effect today. I want to acknowledge the Kenneth Harding Foundation out here today. There are a few others, and uh, someone wants to shout them out because RCP, I want to acknowledge that RCP is out here today. We acknowledge uh, the, the Alex Nieto folk out here today, just Alex Nieto. Now, why, why do I want to take the point? Not just not just to say what up to all, to, yeah. Workers World is out here today. Lake Merritt Labor's Organized for Peace is out here today. Oakland Socialists are out here today. Inner Council for Mothers of Murdered Children. Inner Council for Mothers of Murdered Children is out here today. So I want to give. Uh, uh, I, I do want to give props to all the people that are out here in the streets organizing. And I want to, but I also bring this up for a very specific reason, not just to give props and acknowledge the folk that have come out here today. But I want to emphasize the point here. And this is just me talking. I'm Jeremy Miller, Program Director from the Edith Stelly Foundation. I want to emphasize the point that we have all this energy, all this spirit out here. In the streets, we felt it. We've, we've been there, we've seen this in the streets for the last few weeks, and it's been building, and it's been growing. But it is time, as Kadeem said, it's time for us, it's been time, for us to start making some moves, to start strategizing and actually taking steps to get to where we want to be, which is a place where the people have regained control of the situation, where the people have regained the power. And so I want you to look around, look around, y'all, look around, meet each other if you do not know each other. If you're with an organization, try and get down with another organization and see where you guys can come together, like today. If you are not with an organization, I would encourage you all to get with an organization. I ain't going to say preference one over the other. Just get down, because that way when we all get down, we can all stay in communion with each other, know what time it is, come organize, come correct, and change this shit. And so, so we have a, we, we got a little bit of a program today. We're, we're very uh, lucky. We're going to have a training in a little bit uh, for People's Community Medics, who I uh, forgot to acknowledge. I'm not sure if they made it out here yet, but People's Community Medics are going to be coming out, talk about uh, emergency first aid, so uh, very vital life skills, especially for folks that are taking the streets. This is what you get. This is uh, uh, some some knowledge on how to handle emergency situations out here when you don't have the luxury of. Uh, of uh, getting hit right in front of the hospital. Right. And we don't have the luxury, like Kenneth Harding comes to mind, we don't have the luxury of the assumption that the, e the EMTs, that the emergency personnel are going to do their job and attend to you right away. And that's something we know. That's something people of color, we know. We see this in our communities. We see with cases like Kenneth Harding, we see with, with uh, uh, cases like O'Shane, we see with cases like Adam Marek, where they let us die. So we can't be relying on them too much. We need to learn how to take care of ourselves. And People's Community Medics is provi providing a beautiful service uh, to that effect. And they'll be out here later uh, for a skill share. Um, but I'd like to open it up right now. I'd like to open it up because I know a lot of y'all 
that things you want to share, feelings, thoughts, ideas, and we need to come together and to, as a community with all these ideas. It ain't just me, it ain't just one or two people. It's going to take the genius of all of us to put this thing together and take the power back. So with that, I'd like to open up the mic to any families who want to speak of police terror. What's your name, brother? And if I don't speak now, I, I may leave. But uh, I, if I don't speak now, I may leave. Who knows? You know, I may be unstable in my movement right now. But I'm overwhelmed at what I'm hearing uh, because there is a such thing of fighting back. Uh, and uh, I believe in going hard as pain and uh, collective participation, perfect love where every race is concerned is a necessity in order for us to counter the bullshit on behalf of the bureaucracy. Police, if they are totally out of order. But guess what? We in control. To, we, in, we in control actually to the fullest if we just adhere. If we adhere to Or, how do you assess a situation when an individual is in violation? Is there a such thing of authority being in violation? Evidently there is. There's no such so how do you assess that? First of all, secondly, that is one percent power control. Authority belongs to the people, people government. That was occupied objective. Unfortunately, Occupy didn't know how to channel themselves as people government, which is a question that belongs to all of us. We are standing in the midst of that now. You see what I mean? Uh, even though there's a slight difference, we're protesting police brutality. But order and objective, the government and the bureaucracy are as two different concepts are one and the same. Aristocratic power control legislation makes the law, and guess who enforces it? Bureaucracy, etc. I don't miss some people call it woman, I don't care okay, what you call it. But, you know, it's with the po 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 police brutality and the injustice. The, we're taking a ride because they out of pocket, right? And, you know, there's so many different equations. It, it don't, they, I, it, it doesn't belong to them to be in a position to do what they do, because it's totally out of character. And, and, and they have to conform, you know, me to, uh, hey, look, check this out. It's like, homage belong to God, that equation belong to what's appropriate. But, but, but you know hey, you know what I like about it? This is how I accept it right here, right? When, when, uh, we are saying we're right with people. Oh, oh, let me give you the tools. Look at the tools. Here's the tools. I just came from church down there. There's a, there's a uh, cathedral monumental church down there belongs to Oakland. Oakland is, a, there's a soil. This is town business. It's diamond in the rough. It's the diamond in the rough. This that, means that must be the example for world class change. It comes from right here. It's town business. We inherit. Probably it's up to in the federal building, right? Check this out. She put it up for three years, and we ain't stepped into the plate. So she can sign the check that we need so we can undoubtedly do ourselves, especially my folks. You feel me? The way we rock it out here in these hoods. We all some people oriented shit. We love everybody. It's our look. What? Have a three minutes. Three minutes. Have a three minutes. Three minutes. Three minutes. Oh, shit. Okay. Shame is the ordinance. And we're going to use it as an oracle. An oracle is, guess what? An act of God. We're going to use it. That's the oracle we're going to use to bring about the difference. That's the oracle. And we're going to look. Monumental, it's like the, you play with perception. So the perception you play with is 
life is the art. Play with your perception, because it's a tool. It's a vice that you use to acquire that objective. It's, it's, it's in you. It's in your blood. You see me? You got to forgive me. Let me see for my uh, social dialing, right? You know? It's radical. It's right. Yeah. Look. Justice for shame. 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 What kind of justice we want? What kind of justice we want? Oh shame. Okay, give me a the declaration for the justice of we decree. What is the declaration for oh shame justice for the justice of we decree? What is the what is the what is the declaration for the justice of we decree? I love y'all. That's my that's my contribution. Thank you. That's my contribution. I love you. Justice for old Shane Evans. Justice for old Shane Evans. Justice for all victims of police terror. Justice for all victims of police terror. I want to call up uh, again. I want to call up family members. Uh, Right now, I think, uh, uh, right now, I got behind me, uh, my partner, Misha Mohe Irizari. She's the mother of Idris Steli, assassinated, also assassinated by the San Francisco Police Department. Say a few words. 